Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing Sigrin from Zombieside Green Horde. So I begin again by priming this with Army Painter's Barbarian Flesh. And then I start off with some Zombie Side Invaders uh, Abomination White, just to start off her hair, so that later on I can do the blonde properly. Once again, I'm using Army Painter's Quick Shade Flesh Tone. Of course, this is for her flesh. Again, it's just to put a base, and you'll see I completely change her skin later on because I didn't like how it has turned out. I ended up putting Skeleton Bone. I didn't even like that, but in the end, it turns out pretty good. And now I use Saigor Brown from Citadel Colors Contrast Paint Line, and this is just for her boots. And eventually I will put a dry brush on top of it, of I believe some lighter Necromancer Cloak, or Leather Brown actually I believe I use. So I move on to some flat brown by Vallejo's model color and this is for one part of her skirt and some of her arm braces and I think some straps. It creates a nice base for uh, some highlighting later on.
Okay, so this is where I go to the skeleton bone to redo all her skin. Yeah, so this is where it you'll see with the skeleton bone it doesn't even turn out nice. It looks really weird because of the flesh wash that's underneath. Anyways, the light tone later on that I put, I think it's light tone or soft tone. And then I'm going to move on to the rest of her skirt using uh, Army Painter's Necromancer Cloak from the Zombie Side Black Plague paint set. And moving on to my favorite contrast, Snake Bite Leather from Citadel Colors. And this again, with the Barbarian Flesh, comes out really nice as a natural highlight. And I'm going to use this on her uh, belts, on her straps. And then her sword is going to get a little bit of claymore blade from the zombie side black plague paint scent by the army painter and i just said paint scent but i meant paint set <laughs> Then from the same paint set, I'm going to use the bright gold from Army Painter Zombie Side Black Plague. And this is just for some little medallions and chains that she has on her belt. And also the hilt of the sword. And here's the fabulous Babe Blonde paint by the Army Painter. Now this thing needs a mixing ball in it because there's so much medium and it's so liquidy. I have to shake this up really well, but because I used the white, it comes out really nice, and then later on I use a, a wash on it, and it comes out perfect, and I do a few little highlights at the end, you'll notice, with the same color, the Bay Blonde, just to bring out some more of that hair. And I use some tentacle red from the Zombie Side Invader Invader paint set, and this is just for her lips. So this is where I move back to Saigor Brown from the Citadel Colors contrast, and this is just to do like the tattoos or markings on her body that it shows up on the artwork as well. And I try and do like her eyes, like she has on there. But anyways, that's not bad. Then I move on to one of the quick shades by the Army Painter, which is Soft Tone. Or actually, Light Tone, sorry. And that's, I pretty much put this on the entire miniature, even on the skin, on uh, her cloaks, well, her, her, her dress, her skirt, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is where I can do some highlights after.
Now, instead of using the regular Hunter Green uh, paint, I decided to use Commando Green, actually, because I wanted to do an actual base. Uh, because I got a kit to be able to put, like, rocks and sand and grass and stuff like that. And now you can see I'm doing highlights on the hair. Sorry, I went off camera again there. And I'm going to do some leather brown on her boots and on her skirt that's brown as well. Just to bring out some highlights in that. So there you have it, there's Sigrun completely painted and you'll see in a picture with her new base on as well.